days, um, a lot of companies have moved uh, to remote or hybrid uh, work environment and use of SaaS applications such as Salesforce is becoming very popular. Remote employees and users are accessing corporate and confidential data from everywhere using coffee shops, airports, and other unsecure public networks. One solution to improve your security is the use of IP restriction for logging to these SaaS applications. But there is no specific IP address range because again, remote users get their IP addresses from their ISPs or other networks that are connecting from. So for enhanced security, and to use of uh, SaaS login restriction policies, you can drive traffic to your SaaS application through WPC to one of your uh, private networks and then use that public IP address of your connector to restrict logging. Other internet traffic is not routed through the WPC and uh, they will use direct internet access. This means their SaaS traffic is not safely tunneled over in secure networks and such a restriction provides additional layer of security on top of other security measures enforced such as single sign-on and two-step verification. Now in the next segment we will look at the following scenario. For added security and a stay within our company's compliance we need to make sure all connections to Salesforce.com being routed through WPC and it can be inspected by CyberShield IDS and IPS. I have already gone through the instructions provided by Salesforce.com to restrict our login IP addresses and use our connector's IP address. We will configure our sales uh, group to access Salesforce.com through WPC while all other traffic internet will be through the user's own network. In order to do that, uh, we will add Salesforce.com to route a domain on our network. I will also add what is my IP address.com to route a domain to see that our connections uh, for these two websites are being routed through WPC. Then we're going to create an access group for our sales team and then we're going to test our configuration by connecting uh, what one of our sales team member to salesforce.com and what is my IP address.com. Okay, before I start the configuration on OpenVPN Cloud Administration Portal, let's go ahead and run a couple of tests here. So first of all, as you can see, I'm on a salesforce.com, so I'm going to type my username and a password and uh, want to see if I can log into a portal. As you can see, I'm not able to log in. So if I go here and uh, type what is my IP, as you can see, this is the IP address of my network where I'm sitting right now. Now, if I go to what is my IP address.com, uh, the page and type the what is my IP address.com, again, same IP address. This is the IP address of my network where I'm sitting right now. So let's go to our administration portal and start configuring our network. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start with our configuration. As you can see, I am on the administration portal of our OpenVPN cloud. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to networks and I choose my network. Um, here OVN net is on my network and I'm going to add uh, salesforce.com and what is my IP address.com as a routed domain. So I'm going to click here and then type salesforce.com and I confirm it. Once it's added, I'm going to click on add services here. To make it easier, I'm just going to call it Salesforce and then for the protocols, I use HTTP and HTTPS and then click on create. Now I do the same uh, for what is my IP address.com, so click on the plus sign, uh, type what is my IP address.com and confirm it. Then I click on add services. Again, to make it easier, I'm just name it what is my IP and then uh, choose HTTP and HTTPS as the protocols. Next step is going to be creating the access group for my sales team. As you can see, we're right now we're on a full mesh. Uh, everybody has access to all and everything on the network. So we're going to create um, a new access group. So uh, I'm going to call this access group sales team. And uh, uh, 
down here on the user group I'm going to choose sales team and then for the networks my, what is my IP and the Salesforce these are the two we just created and we're going to click on create now we need to delete the full mesh access group so I'm going to delete the default uh, access group and as you can see now we got the sales team here now click on users and go to groups we're going to look at our sales team uh, we have three users in this uh, team and then we want to make sure the split tunnel is on now I'm going to go back to users and let's look see who is in our sales team so Sean is one of the members of the sales team we're going to try to connect with Sean's account so let's go ahead and bring up our connect app and I'm going to connect with Sean's profile and as you can see we're connected right now so first let's go to salesforce.com and I'm going to go ahead and try to log in now and as you can see I'm uh, logged in to Salesforce now I'm able to log in now let's look at the IP address I'm just going to refresh this page and uh, still as you can see I have my um, look my IP address here where I'm sitting and let's go to uh, what is my IP address uh, dot com okay now you see the IP address here is different because what, what is my IP address dot com is going through the WPC the IP address is a 54.193.64.204 if I go ahead and log into my um, AWS portal you can see this is my connector is connected and this is the IP address for the connector so uh, the what is my IP address web page and salesforce.com are going through the WPC and this is the IP address that is showing which was whitelisted with salesforce.com